Hi, it's Megan. I was at Nordstrom's beauty event today and I started playing around at the Giorgio Armani table, booth, whatever, island, whatever they're called, and I fell in love with a new lipstick formula called Rouge Ecstasy. So they say excess moisture rich lip color. And this is one of them. It looks like this in this amazing red tube. It's metallic, so I was taking pictures outside of this watch, so I, I like to get natural light swatches because I think the colors look very different outside sometimes than they do when we're shooting these videos inside. So this one right here, it's like a semi-sheer color, and that's what it looks like. I don't know, I always call this like kind of a marshmallow flamingo color to me. It's that kind of coral with a, more of a pink I don't know why I always say marshmallow with a stronger pink strawberry kind of a there's something about that f white feel to it frothiness but anyway uh, I really like this particular color it's number 304 heat and they are arranged in corals browns reds nudes and uh, I think it was plums was the last way that they described it they have 36 shades, so they call them luminous shades, they're $34 each, and they are 0.14 ounce. The reason why I like them so much is they do have this semi-sheer, but not that semi-sheer with no color thing, which I hate, but that semi-sheer, which is incredibly luminous, glossy, and pigmented. So this right here was one of the lighter shades I tried on, but you can still see it's got a really strong pigmentation, and I wasn't really paying attention as I applied it. Um, it feels a lot like a balm, but it get I get good coverage of my top lip, where some of these kind of lighter colors just fade, especially the semi-sheer ones. I get really good coverage, and I get about three hours worth of wear out of these. I have a darker one, which I get kind of on the higher end of the three hours, and then this lighter coral one, I'm getting on, you know, the two and a half to three hour. Um, they say... With Rouge Ecstasy, the Giorgio Armani lab Libraries push the boundaries of the exceptional even further with the first CC lipstick, Color and Care, a new innovative hybrid product that marks the start of a new era in lipstick, which is a huge promise. It says it offers the comfort and softness of a lip balm, leaving the uh, lips repaired and beautifully enhanced day after day. And they say it coats the lips in saturated, ultra-luminous shades with impeccable hold. Application is simple, precise, and effective. So 36. Um... It's a lot of shades. It was really hard to pick from them. And they are very moisturizing on. Uh, and they have that just soft, luminous shine, which I'm loving in a lot of these formulas that are coming out now. It just looks prettier. It, because they're semi-sheer, it just looks really natural. So this was one that I just loved going into spring, summer. The other one I really loved today, and I have a couple others, which I'll do another video on, but the other one I really loved today. Oh. As number 400. I love reds. I love reds with a passion. But I find that a lot of reds every day are just too much. It's not something I can wear when I'm running errands, going to the gym. Um, I can wear them to work, but sometimes even reds don't feel right at work. I've learned, by the way, over time to do the lipstick on and off on camera. It's less choppy. And then also, I've got super pigmented lips. So especially when we're, I'm talking about like a semi-sheer formula, people who don't have so pigmented lips might get a very different look. So this is 400. And it, does it have a name? It's just 400. That's the name. Yeah, 400. Both the numbers and the letters spelled out. And I think this is my new favorite red because that semi-sheer, but look how pigmented it is being a semi-sheer. And then it's just a really classic red. If I were to pick an undertone, be a slight blue undertone, but I think it's just a softer, softer pure red. And this I get a slight bit of staining, but not a lot, just a little, which is kind of nice. And uh, this one, again, it'll go over three hours wear. I was wearing this around all day today as I was running my errands, and it just wore beautifully. It faded. And I wonder, too, I'm starting to see a lot of these semi-sheer formulas. If the formula is done right, the colors are done right, 
I think they just blend with our skin better. So I love these. These are like my new favorite formula. That might change because I get all excited about a new product. But these I'm really impressed. Number one, I love the selection of shades and a lot of them were just really soft, flattering, natural or pigmented, bright, that were still soft enough that they didn't look like super makeup y. Um, I like how creamy they are. And I like how they cover the lip really well. A lot of the semi sheer formulas, you don't get that great coverage. I like how moisturizing they are. I like the feel of it, just a very balmy, soft feel. And I just love it. So I think that's it. If you have other colors, I would love to hear what you think. Sorry about the siren in the back. I'm not going to have time to reshoot this video today, and I want to get it done. Um, and up, because there's a Giorgio Armani sale going on on their site. I'm trying to get these up before that ends, and I'll put a link the dates of that in the video and um, suggestions subscribe on YouTube and then I'm also doing a novel on YouTube called masks chapter by chapter where I talk about makeup and the masks <laughs>